Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Serious JG. I don't know exactly what the rewards are, but I looked and, yeah, I mean, several of the bandit quests are things I already have already would have completed by now if only I'd done an official robbery of townspeople first. So I think I just need to do a few robberies that count as robberies and get them over with. Um, the game actually suggests that you do them in Strawberry or... or um, they didn't actually say Va Valentine or Strawberry or Road. They say to stay away from St. Denis because there's just a lot of law enforcement. So let's head back to Rhodes where we already had a wanted level. And frankly, I shouldn't have paid the bounty there because uh, one of the, one of the uh, ones I'm going to have later is to get a bounty over a certain amount. So let's... Um, Let's try to rob five folks. The next one, the one after that will be about uh, hijacking coaches and selling them to the fence, which is... Basically, I was playing this game off screen, uh, a, a good deal of this game off screen at one point, and uh, stopped because I kept hitting random encounters that I wanted to record as part of the LP. But that's what I was doing. I was just... I did way more of that than is actually necessary to end the quest. But, um, I'm gonna do it with people. Why are you wearing that mask? Oh. I probably want to take it off until I get into town. Because, or... yeah, robbing people on horses is gonna be more difficult because they'll run. But they do advise you to actually take a look for people who, who look wealthy. Those guys were actually well dressed. They might might not have been terrible guys to rob, but you probably want to rob individuals rather than groups, guys. But yeah, they say the odds of people pulling a gun on you and trying to kill you are higher when they're kind of look like cowboys. And I would assume that yeah, now that I think about it, the farmer. Yeah, here's it. This might actually be a really good one. Let's give it a shot. I told you to. I called out. I, I, I changed my mind. Hold it down. Well, there's a there was a woman in the carriage. I mean, I can I can kill him and rob her. If my horse can keep up. Cuz he's riding like death itself is chasing him, which I suppose it is. Witness is in the carriage. Oh, he's. I guess he's still alive. Oh, I need to get them before they get back to town. I'm not gonna make it, am I? This is just turning into a cluster. He's now completely surrounded by people. This is turning into a big fat mess. I just game. I just the controls are a nightmare in this game. I'm like, I call out. The guy's like, I'm stopping, and then he keeps going because I guess I I wasn't at a stop. I I don't freaking know. Then he starts running away, even though it looked like I'd done everything you needed to do to get him to stop, and it seemed like that was an NPC who was going to stop. The first time you threatened him with a gun, based on his initial reaction, I don't know. I mean, the other bandit challenges involve things like robbing coaches, and um, I guess there is one more, uh, like a, a round two of this same challenge, where you have to get a certain amount of money. Uh, but otherwise, like, yeah, there's not that many points where you'd be called on to actually rob somebody in this manner, because it's not as simple as you think it would be in this game. 
Or just the fact that you can't just simply... The fact that you can't just simply rob somebody by killing them and taking their stuff afterwards and have that count is uh, kind of annoying to me. This other one run by because he said he's going to stop. I mean, it stopped right now. Dang it. Ah, ass white. <laughs> Maybe he said he was going to stop. I don't think the game, I don't think it was just this character was effing with me. I think that this. Fucking mechanic is broken. Whoa. Oh, well, I don't, I'm not gonna go after him then. Let's just get to. Apparently, I gotta get people on foot because this is too freaking broken to do uh, riding around. So let me get to the outskirts of uh, town so that I don't have like 10 witnesses to every crime. I don't think there's a mechanic where changing your clothes will make a difference. But it's really impossible to say. And once we get to a place that I think is going to be a good place to do this, I need to just freaking save the game so that when I fail ten times before we succeed once, I won't have to make this ride over and over again. Oh man, that guy looked actually perfect for this though. He was like Fancy Pants uh, Top Hat Man. The game the what I was reading basically suggested that Fancy Pants Top Hat Men, not only are they going to give you more money, but they're apparently less likely to actually produce a gun. Okay, then. Hey, mister! Hold up! You horse <laughs> yeah. Okay, apparently not. So in that case, Fancy Hat Pants Top Hat Man was completely ready to shoot me. Come on back, horsey. We'll find easier prey. We only rob those who are uh, weak and helpless. That's the noble way. Oh, I gotta remember my horse is freaking exhausted. It's been shot a bunch of times. Give him a regular oat cake. Oh, well. What do you need help with, friend? Please, help me! You won't believe it. I got fishing again. Oh, really? It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. I guess that's just the thing that I'm going to be doing from now on, sucking venom out of people. They call me the sucker. I can't believe I'm doing this. Again. Hold still. Never again. Oh, I owe you so much, mister. I can't believe you saved my yep. life. Me neither. Yeah, I was about to make that joke. Well, I best to get back to town. I don't need to know about you and your stiff one, or somebody else's stiff one that you're going to be uh, taking. Was I masked when I did that? No, I wasn't. I took off my mask probably in order to do that. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're in the area outside of Rhodes, where I'm hoping that I can actually rob a few folks without getting killed. Certainly somebody around here already came up and started punching me for no real reason before, so this might not be a good place to go. This might be a place where everybody's really hostile and dangerous, but... Everything you got. Hey, hey! Can't we just talk about this? You got to say good. One more second. Please! I don't have anything. Say the goddamn oh. choice I'm giving you. Here, take it. All right. Now I gotta try to get this witness. But I made the mistake of running after him and not using my horse. Where's my horse at? So if I can catch the witness, great. Otherwise, I had a mask on, so... I don't think I'm going to catch this witness. Well, I f finally robbed somebody in a way that counted. I gotta get the... How did they? F yep. uh, why did they know it was me? Why did I get identified? I got too close to the uh, lawmen. I guess they were able to see through my disguise. Well, I barely got anything at all out of the robbery itself, but one of five it finally took. Let's see if my horse will come this way. Or if I'm too far away from it. I mean, I guess I'll let the bounty, the bounty build up in roads, because I'll need it later anyway. Oh, Caliga Hall. Is that, uh, I know it's uh, it's Lemoyne, this whole zone. Not specifically Caliga Hall. Although Caliga Hall, I guess I don't have a bounty yet. Hold on, how does this work? Yeah, I got a bounty in this whole zone. Alright. Well, if I get it... No, my mask was still on the whole time, but I still ended up getting identified. Well, okay. Small pal. We'll see how this is going to go here. Save on a different slot, maybe. In case this turns out to be just not even worth it. But it's several bounty challenges later that I need this. It's several bandit challenges later I need this high bounty. So I probably don't really need to be working on it this far in advance. But um, Same fella, but uh, empty your pockets, mister, and you can be on your way. Hey, 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 you can calm your ass down. Shut up. Take this, just, just don't hurt me. 53 cents. Stop, or I'll kill you. I swear. Whoa, there, calm this down. This ain't a discussion. What in the hell do you want? It ain't even worth it. Just go. Right, I'm getting... Get away! He ain't a witness anymore. No, he is a witness. Through, you fool. I need a lawman here right now. Oh, so he's still considered a witness, even though I stopped him. Ah! 
Well, I guess it was dishonorable, but, um... I feel bad, too, now, because I've become Racist Rusev. So, Racist Rusev was, a, you know, like, kind of an internet term. There was a while where, just because of the way the, st the, the shows were plotted and, and the matches were booked, there was a couple of, like, three or four weeks in a row where... Uh, Alexander Rusev, who just later became Rusev, was, um, I think he was Alexander Rusev, he was a pro wrestler who just kept feuding with and fighting black people. <laughs> and um, I don't think anybody in WWE realized they'd done it, but they kind of booked him that way a couple of weeks in a row, and the internet started joking about racist Rusev, because nobody believed that the actual real-life performer was a racist, uh, or anything like that, but like his character seemed to be always picking fights with black people, and eventually that kind of faded into memory but i just realized the only two people i've robbed so far have been black and the witness i just ran over is black because i'm robbing farmhands who are kind of isolated and away from town where i'm less likely to get in trouble so i'm really not getting anything monetary out of this it's just to meet this challenge and i feel like an even bigger heel than i did before but hey you know racist elusive it's just how things have come out. But that being said, this is still kind of a handy... Um, the closer we get to town, the more densely populated these areas are, the more dangerous it is. Although doing it at night like this was is probably wise. So I got to do three more. And then... I have to decide if I'm going to pay off this bounty or keep it. So that I can do the other challenges. Like... Robbing, um, robbing stagecoaches and stuff and build up my uh, bounty even more. Just need to find some folks who are still up and about at night. my horse to kind of follow so that it's always fairly close in case I need to make a run for it. It'd be nice to have some night vision goggles at this point. It would be easy to steal a stagecoach right now. I think that counts as a stagecoach. No, oh, I think those are lawmen. Yeah, those are mark. So they're marking lawmen in red now that I got a wanted level. So that's nice of them to help me out like that. Way to the uh, no, gentleman covers his face. Yeah. no, that's true. No gentleman covers his face. I'm not a gentleman. You are correct in that, sir. Those two gentlemen hanging around outside of the saloon. There'd be somebody hanging out at the gazebo at night? That would be handy. Nope. Oh, I wonder if there's a uh, cigarette card here. Yeah. I think this is a might be a plot gazebo. J.G. McKnight. need to come back uh, oh there's some see there's guys that are over there talking but sort of by definition there's two of them and they're hanging out together so I'm not real likely to be able to rob them both 
Oh, there's like three of them. that's right there so I probably don't want to do him my horse is following which is actually damn useful because it's gonna make for a quick getaway if I ever find somebody who's on their lonesome so here's a guy hanging around by himself now he's right outside of the this is probably really So I gotta get out. So how come the climbing over a fence thing is not working all of a sudden? Seriously, wh I just lost the ability to climb over a fence. When there's witnesses, that's fine. Get my horse to follow me just for convenience more than anything else, but my... Yeah, the button that I would normally use to climb a fence suddenly wasn't doing anything for me. I mean, I suppose I might have messed up, but it really felt like it, I was doing the right buttons. I sure hope that counted. I got him from behind, but it uh, actually I didn't know that them tell me uh, that I made progress. Let's see, three of five. Okay, that did count. So I just gotta hang around outside the search radius until my bounty goes up, and they stop actively looking. Maybe my bounty didn't go up. They never actually identified it was me this time. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this a little bit more now. <sighs> Find somebody who's isolated, who doesn't have the ability to quickly flee from you because they're not already on a horse. And, um... Make sure to run over any witnesses. <laughs> I finally robbed somebody who wasn't, um... Some poor African American farmhand too, which I feel good having robbed members of different ethnic groups. I feel better about my violent crimes now that I'm convinced there's no racial element to them. I'm an equal opportunity sociopath. You know what? Coming up to somebody from behind, it, it's since it counted, uh, since I know it counted, coming up to the guy from behind and grabbing him from behind to rob him uh, seemed like a more of a foolproof method, method as well. Okay, so we got lawmen on that side of the road, so let's come over here. Yeah. What crime was reported? I didn't even commit a crime. It's too bad. I actually found a guy who was kind of hanging around on his own, too. Well, that guy's running the butcher shop. So there might be a long-term impact of robbing him. Still, it seems awfully convenient. Let's give it a shot. Hey, hey, take it 
easy there. Can I rob him or not? Stay calm. No, I can't, and uh, I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm going to load the game because that might have just cost me the ability to do business there, which could be a problem. So I think if I load this game, I still have three of five robberies committed. Because he seemed to be unrobbable. Um, somehow. I know you can rob stores. You go into a store, hold a gun on the guy, and if he's got a adult man dressed as a child tied up in his basement, it's a different button to press, but there's also a button you can press to just rob the cash register like you'd expect. I even caught a hot tip while glancing between videos at the, you know, internet uh, about the bandit missions, and um, one of them indicated that you've got to rob four. Uh, one of the one of the quests you have to rob four um, cash registers within a single day. Excuse me, and it kind of indicated that you were the best way to do this would be to rob all three. There's only three stores in Valentine with a cash register. So it says if you rob all, if you start really early in the day, rob all three as quickly as possible. Get on a horse and ride hard for roads. That's the best way to do it, basically. Mask is still on, isn't it? Or it actually isn't. I just got a really thick beard. Well, hold on. Let me. If I don't sell, if I don't say yes to auto saves, then I will. I I am manually telling it not to auto save anymore, which is not what I want to do. That is not what I meant either. I want to do progress challenges. I'm still at three of five, so I got to find two more. Then I can go back to St. Denis and just start saying hello to everyone until my honor meter is maxed out because that's a thing that you can do. Now, I'm probably not welcome at Caliga Hall, but that is a place I could try to use to finish this out. This worked out fairly well before. Rob people coming out of the tavern. Why am I not allowed to rob him? Suddenly I can't rob him. Walk up to a guy with a weapon drawn and won't let me rob him? Well, look at hey, you. I don't think so. Show me your face. Get out of here, you drunken mess. <laughs> okay, can't rob the drunk guy. It's almost daylight. Might make it easier to find people to rob. But probably make it harder to find people to rob in places where someone won't see me robbing them. These are the difficult choices that we must all make. Let's not go straight to the sheriff's office and start robbing people directly outside of it.
Because that's basically where we were. Money, lady, now. Hey, hey, no. Not me. Shut please. up and do what I say. But I don't have any what? Stop talking. Start giving no. me like fifty cents. Just don't. Oh, I got a necklace for that. Get away from me! Well, I got a lovely necklace out of that. And I believe I got progress. Alright, one more to go. I guess I just needed to... It seems pretty simple in retrospect. I was trying to rob people on the paths. This was off screen, a lot of this. But uh, you did see a few on screen attempts. I was trying to... I figured I was a highwayman. I was trying to rob people between towns. Um, but usually that meant that they had a wagon or something. And they, would always, and they would almost always try to run. And even if it seemed like they weren't trying to run... Like they would stop when you threaten them, but then you got to the actual detail robbery portion of it, and something would always seem to go wrong. So if we can finish this challenge by robbing one more person, I'll let the video go a little long just so we've got it behind us. Because that would be nice. There's two of them, and they got a horse. Or they got horses doesn't make me happy. Alright, let's try to do this. Oh I wasn't gonna rob you, ma'am. But then you said, oh dear. Give me everything you got. Uh, no! Oh. Shut your shoving mouth. people usually does it. Since you are so insistent. Alright, fair enough. I got, I got clearly seen there. Let's ride, horsey. And I got new equipment available at the trap. But she didn't see my face. So if I can get out, I think I'm stuck with a $10 bounty. Which isn't that bad. And the bandit quest is successfully completed now regardless. So now I'm just trying to rob stagecoaches. But even just getting to level one uh, gets me st more stuff I can get at the Trapper. Trapper John MD. So the next thing, because I just wanted to at least get one of them done, since I sometimes rob stagecoaches anyway. There but, we go. but the next thing now is going to be uh, determining what the rewards are and whether it's worth pursuing any further because it was it was bugging me that I've been doing all these crimes and wasn't getting credit for them in terms of progress so now I think between videos I will check and see if it's worth doing any more of this stuff uh, even if it's worth doing more I might not do it till a little bit later but I feel good for having finally beat level one bandit progress uh, I'm Sirius JG. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next time. We'll either be robbing stagecoaches or we'll be um, doing. Um, hold on, sorry. We'll either be robbing stagecoaches or we'll be robbing stagecoaches because we have to rob a coach full of uh, moonshine. So next time, we're pretty much robbing stagecoaches of some variety. See you then.